Okay, so let's start talking about becoming and building an elite scorer, all right? And the first thing I'm going to talk about, and I believe so strongly, if someone asks me a question today, if, if you guys ask me a question and say, hey, you know, you're going to talk about scoring, but just tell us what you think you need to do to become a great lacrosse player, okay? It's going to be the same answer as building an elite scorer. And you're going to see in a little bit, I'm going to talk about release patterns and which, where to shoot and all kinds of different releases. I'm not going to talk about that yet. The number one thing to build an elite scorer is how to catch the ball the right way. Okay? Catching is the single most important part or single most important skill in the sport because it sets up everything you're going to do as a player. So if the ball is thrown to me in a game, all right, and just step away from shooting for a second. If I want to just catch the ball in a game and move it to the back side, if I can catch the ball right, I can make that happen sooner. All right, but catching, catching appropriately or the right way with good fundamentals is critical. And I'm going to talk about those fundamentals right now. All right, the first thing we want to understand in catching, all right, is that we want to catch with our stick vertical. All right. Everything I teach, you want to play with a vertical stick, right? Why do you want to play with a vertical stick? You throw the ball with your stick vertical. You shoot the ball with your stick vertical. You protect your stick from oncoming defenders with your stick vertical, right? We don't protect our stick horizontal, and we don't shoot really horizontal. We don't throw passes horizontal. And if you look at a stick design, Right? It's set up to receive the ball in a vertical fashion. So number one, as you're working with your young players and working with catching, you want to get their hands vertical. Okay? And look, everyone's heard the whole thing about like, hopefully I'm going to have some things here that are going to take some of this science to the next level. Some, some people, you might be teaching your players like, catch like there's an, an egg coming. All right? We're going to try to get even deeper than that. So yes, you do want to have soft hands. But the, it all starts with having your stick vertical, all right? You're really just going to move your stick to, to the ball and keep it vertical. One thing we teach in my club program and at my camps is if the ball is coming to the other side, you're literally going to keep your stick vertical on a bad pass and just make sure your hands stay vertical so you would not reach across like that, all right? So we want the hands vertical. We want to have soft hands, okay? I'm just going to demonstrate here real quick. You can see Brendan over there, all right, ball's coming to me, all right, a nice soft hand. One of the things you should notice is there's absolutely no snatching and cradling into the catch, okay? Young players find a lot of, it's hard to catch. I'm working with a young boy right now, he's like six years old, and he's having a really hard time not going up, wanting to catch the, the ball like this, okay? Catching is really hard, and you've got to have the right fundamentals. So, no snatching. So, a lot of young players will kind of go out and snatch at the ball because that's a good way for them to kind of latch it into their stick. We don't want to do that. So, if the ball comes to you, you can see how my stick is just open, and it just drops in, and I actually hold it. This is a great little drill for teaching players how to catch, is just hold it for a sec. Hold. Now, if you're snatching, okay, that's no good, and you can't really hold it. So open face, vertical hands, and hold, okay? For players, Brent, come over here, step in a little bit. For players that might be struggling a little bit with that, I call that hand action. We want to have very quiet hand action. That's the soft hands that people are talking about. Okay, so for players that are struggling with that, I like to go to a little one-handed action. So just go one-handed, all right, drop the ball in, and remind them as they're catching with one hand not to snatch it with one hand. So you just flip it over, okay? Good little catch, getting a little out, better athletic position. All right, the ball comes, all right. Now, why is catching so important? Because if you can catch the ball with those quiet hands, the ball's coming to me here, I can catch and I can get into the shooting motion so quickly, all right? Or if I need to pass the ball over here, I can catch and pass it right away. If you can visualize quickly the wrong way, if Brendan throws me the ball here and I'm set up to score a goal in front of the net, all right, 
and I snatch out at it, my hands are now away, I've got to pull back and get reset. All right, And then obviously, kind of the simple parts of catching and why catching would make you a better scorer all right, is because if the, ball, if the ball comes to you and you don't catch it, you can't score. So simple, you know, kind of the, the first thing is if the ball comes to you and you can catch it, you'll have more scoring chances. I'll talk more about that in just a second. If the ball comes to you and you don't catch it, you can't score. So simple, you know, kind of the, the first thing is if the ball comes to you and you can catch it, you'll have more scoring chances. I'll talk more about that in just a second. So again, fundamentally, vertical hands, okay, quiet hands, no snatching, let the ball drop in there. Great little drill is to have the ball one-handed, throw it off the rebounder. What I tell kids to do is throw it off the rebounder with two hands, bounce it back, catch with one. So there's the rebounder, catch with one, and hold, all right? Catching